everybody's always asking us how we feel about the uh, the Trevor Jacobs situation. Well, how I feel about it is I have a few aircraft here that I would love for him to take on one of his special flights. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? Definitely so. Yeah, we, we need some of these to, to go on special flights with Mr. Jacobs. Today I'm working on a Cirrus. A little troubleshooting. No power to the fuel pump, floodlights, or the autopilot system. So conveniently, those are all tied to main bus two. Power source to main bus two is that connector right there. So we just gotta go through, we'll unhook the battery and check everything for continuity. It's probably just like a popped fuse somewhere or something stupider than that, but we'll figure it out and I'll update you guys on what's going on with it. Up to the bus, I've got a jumper wire with an alligator clamp there. Testing for continuity, the battery is unhooked. Okay, so here's all the systems that aren't working. Fuel pump floodlights, you can see they go into 123-12, which goes into the main bus at plug P135. Here's plug P135. We've got our meter hooked up. So one of these four ports should connect to the main bus. If it does connect, then we know the problem is in the box and not in all that nasty wiring. So let's see. Well, we've got power going to it. So now I know it's somewhere between the battery and this box. All right, a little bit hard to see, but we shot pin B into here, which leads to 230 amp fuses. And then when I put my meter across these two fuses, I got no continuity, so fuse is blown. So we're gonna have to figure out, we'll probably swap it with a good one real quick to make sure it works, and then we'll go from there. So the way the fuses are, they overlap. So this one had to come out first. And these are actually a pain to get out, so. It, but we got it, at least it wasn't one of the ones up under this, this panel. I was able to take the screws loose, get enough movement out of it to make it work. But uh, yeah, they are hard to get to. All right, here we have the fuse that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and pop it open real quick. Let's see if I can do this with one hand while you can see it. I didn't open it, I bent it. Come on, fuse. It's coming slowly. And there it is. So that's why we had no power. Because that should be touching. Just FY. It should look like that. It's quite a bit of metal that melted off, so. But it is a 30 amp fuse, that's to be expected. Okay, so here's here's the lesson uh, that this pilot learned. Do not start or crank the engine with avionics power on if you've got external power. Uh, another shop told him he needed a $4,000 MCU. We told him he needed a $1 fuse, plus, you know, the two hours of labor, troubleshooting and then installing it. Uh, so that's anyway, that's uh, something to know. Read your POH. It'll tell you what you need to know, but don't uh, don't start it with external power and your avionics on because it's gonna pop that 30 amp fuse that we just looked at. All right, got the battery reconnected. Did a quick ops check. Uh, like I said, this was on main bus too, so the one of the main things that went working besides the autopilot was the fuel pump. So turn the fuel pump on, blipped it. It works. So now we're gonna button this box back up. Get this panel remount and get that remounted and then uh, call it a day. I would love to get inside that bird and record what happened to it. What did you say? Um, according to the eyewitness testimony, there's like a three foot section where there was an electrical fire and there's like zero gauge wire that's missing like a three foot section. Oh, that'd be so cool to get on camera. That's a big old Cessna right there. <laughs> Aircraft owners are like, yeah, I love that new uh, avionics package. What is it? Five, six hundred dollars? Huh? This little five, six hundred dollars? It's 
It's real easy, right? Should be easy. Yeah. Yeah, should be simple. <laughs>